Welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. First time tuning in, my name is Ron Johnson, and what I do is I'm a mental health coach, helping people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. Pretty much high performers that are facing burnout. So today's video is having a positive self-image. Now, those that know me out there know I'm studying psychology and I can't wait to get my degree and help those out there that definitely are facing um, clinical issues as far as, you know, depression, anxiety, worry, all that th different things as human beings we face. But here's the important thing is, is that our dear life is struggled by our foundation of self-image. Now, self-image are usually life's perceptions, which are colored. So let's say in my life perception, I have perception that I am positive thinker, perseverance, that thus becomes my self-image. Another self-image I used to have is that I'm, my handwriting sucks. The reason I have that self-image of my handwriting sucks is because my dad would tell me, son, your handwriting sucks. So guess what? My self-image really became my handwriting sucks. So how do you create a positive self-image? The way to create a positive self-image is realize that at any time, perceptions and realities can be altered. Second thing being is our perceptions and realities can be altered by race, culture, culture identity, race identity, circumstances, career, profession, relationships, everything can be changed. But one thing that can be changed is how you dream. It means what dreams you have. What I mean by dreams means what do you see your life, professional and personal? Where do you see you want to go, professionally and personally? How do you want to change your life, professionally and personally? See, the idea is not really altering your self-image, but asking yourself questions to give you a clear direction. Because a lot of times you go through life realizing that, man, I'm like 45 years old and I wish I would have done things different, or I wish I made better decisions, or different things. But how you feel about yourself will always matter. How you feel about yourself will be the only thing that matters. So let's say I feel about myself that my handwriting sucks. So what I turn to do is I don't write. I don't put my ideas down. I keep it to myself. The reality is, what is good handwriting and bad handwriting? I mean, 30 years ago, you had to write everything down, number two pen pencil on a piece of paper. But nowadays, you have text, you have a computer, you have Grammarly to edit your paper, everything you need. So I start realizing, wait a minute, my self-image, I'm not bad at writing. We have computers nowadays, do I really need that, right? So that was all alter my self-image, getting more out of life. Second that self-image I had of myself that was negative, self-image, is, man, my grammar sucks, punctuation sucks, everything's bad about that. So thus, I didn't ever write emails, I hated doing everything else. But in turn, really, I just got to use software, Grammarly, or have a software out there to help me. Take my time, read out loud. I have important thoughts, put on a piece of paper, changing my image and getting a more positive image for yourself. So if you guys want to learn more how to create a positive self-image, go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. Let's book a discovery call. Let's connect because you can change your self-image if you ask the right questions, empowering yourself, knowing you have a choice. And always, thanks for listening.